Hey, what's up guys, it's Matt with The Movement System. Today we're gonna go over positive and negative reinforcement and positive and negative punishment. We're gonna go over examples of each of those. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, so to lay the groundwork here guys, positive and negative, all that's referring to is whether we're adding something or whether we're taking it away. So if we're adding something, that would be positive. If we're taking something away, that's gonna be negative. All right, let's go into an example of positive reinforcement. So in this case, positive, we're adding something. Reinforcement means that we're reinforcing a behavior or increasing a behavior. So let's take you to an example here in the weight room. So let's say I'm working with a group of athletes and this actually is a group that I worked with, a group of high school volleyball players. They enjoy doing yoga. So if they were doing a good job of spotting the bar and keeping the safety in the weight room up throughout the whole weightlifting session, then I added more yoga or I added yoga at the end of practice to reinforce the behavior of continuing to spot the bar and keep the weight room safe. That would be an example of positive reinforcement. Okay, now let's talk about negative reinforcement. So negative means we're taking something away and reinforcement is reinforcing or increasing a behavior. So let's just say we had at the end of a session planned 50 burpees for the athletes to do. But throughout the whole session, during all their main lifts, they were doing really good with their spotting technique and all of their lifts were done with really high effort. And we decided that we would take away half the burpees and now they're only doing 25 burpees. That would be an example of negative reinforcement. We took away burpees in order to increase the behavior of, or reinforce the behavior of proper spotting and keeping the weight room safe and good effort during the lifts. Okay, so now let's move on to positive punishment. So positive means that we're adding something. Punishment means that we're decreasing a behavior. So we're observing a behavior and wanna decrease it by adding something. So let's just say that we are seeing texting during a weight room session. So the athletes are supposed to be training and they keep pulling their phones out and texting during the lift. If we decide to add sprints at the end of the session, so everyone's doing sprints around the gym 10 times at the end of the session because they were doing that behavior of texting, that would be an example of positive punishment. Adding something to decrease the behavior. So they're adding sprints to decrease the behavior of texting during the lift. All right, now let's talk about negative punishment. So in the case of negative punishment, we're taking something away to decrease a behavior. So let's just say during our weight room session, we see that athletes are using improper spotting technique, they're distracted, and they're not paying attention. And we had, at the end of the session, planned for doing some yoga. If we take away that yoga session from the athletes because they didn't do proper technique spotting, well, that would be an example of negative punishment. All right, guys, so hopefully those examples of operant conditioning were helpful for you. If it was, go ahead and hit the like button. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.